Soulmates. Okay, there you go. What is a soulmate in your opinion? And can you tell? Because it's hard to tell. You think like it could be like you know, all your emotions getting flustered, you know, like, oh, my God, this, this she's perfect or he's perfect. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's not a soulmate. No. You need that soul bond, you know? Yeah. And it does take time. Before, oh, of course. Yeah, it yeah, takes yeah. time. It takes time before you could know it's your soulmate. But I tell you right away, if you meet somebody and you have the butterflies, it's not. What? It's not your soulmate. Your soulmate is supposed to... Um, it's supposed to be very unexpected. It's supposed to be um, very calming. It's supposed to be... You're not supposed to be nervous. So what, if you're, What explains the butterflies? Anxiety. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There is a lot of... And I... I before I had read a lot of like I read a lot of books and I read a lot of blogs and before I've read those th those blogs or books I thought that I had to have you know that that, that nervousness that oh, the butterflies but the more I would read the more that they would explain that those butterflies usually mean it's anxiety and you're not supposed to be feeling those type of things with <laughs> yeah I automatically thought that you know like goosebumps and well no that, that, that'd be different right goosebumps and uh butterflies would be different but i always thought that butterflies equaled like whoa like i'm interested you know but it's just anxiety yeah well okay so there's a different type of butterflies there's so like when i met this guy last summer that i i said that was in my type when i met him i wasn't nervous meeting him and when i was talking to him i wasn't nervous but i i was excited to see him like before every date i was mm -hmm. i was excited you know i would I, I i couldn't like i couldn't wait to like talk to him or to see him like there was still that excitement but there wasn't the butterflies where i was like am i texting him like you know revising texts before sending them or um you know, being nervous every time I was around him. That's important. I do that a lot. I'm yeah. so scared of what the person's going to fucking interpret it as, yeah. you know, and it, it happens a lot because people are like, wait, you meant, you know, or you said, okay, or you said K instead of okay. Like there's all, all those little things, but yeah. like it actually, it actually does matter. Yeah. You know? Well, it's just, I feel like if it's your soulmate, no matter how you respond, like if you be yourself and you respond the way that you are, it shouldn't matter. Yeah. It shouldn't matter. So I just, I stopped revising my ticks. I was and like, I, if yeah. it's not for them, it's, then this is not for me, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And like, I hate the fucking texting every two seconds. Yes. Like we're we're busy people. Yeah. Okay. I work constantly. Yeah. Like fucking, I'll text you in a couple hours. Okay. I'm gonna be at the gym. Whatever. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't mean I don't care about you. Mm -hmm. It means that I I have shit to do. Yeah. I can't be on my phone twenty four seven. You yeah. know. And um, I find that a lot of like young people nowadays in their relationships, like if they don't text back like automatically, it's done. It is. Like what yeah. the fuck? Like yeah. you, come on, guys. Like we, no one cares that much. Yeah. Seriously. And yeah. if they care that much, it won't last that long. No. You so, uh, and I had a lot of friends where they were like, he hasn't responded in two hours. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Give him time. Leave him. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, so I said, just uh, if he responds, then it's good. Even if it's in six hours, he could be busy. And I know because I'm like that. So like, not that I'm, sometimes I'm busy, but even when I have like this one hour to myself, sometimes I don't respond to messages because no. just responding to messages asks some energy and I just need to recharge before I do answer messages. And it's not because I don't care. It's not because I don't want to talk to you. I just, I need to recharge before I communicate. Yeah. And that's it. And you work, you, you're on your phone a lot, right? I am. Because yeah. I saw you, I saw you at the gym and she has two phones, ladies and gentlemen. She is a fucking drug dealer. I, uh, yes. Wild. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, man? You're like, you're like a businesswoman. What is this? Yes. Two phones. If you want to stay where contact me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what you're doing. Yes. That's what you're doing. Yes. Single mom funding her, uh, her pregnancy. That's how, that's how I'm funding it. <laughs> yeah. So much cookies, yes. guys. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, no, the second phone is just my work phone. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Smart. I like that. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing, I think. Yeah. Keep well, one just... phone for the podcast and like all social media and the other one for my, you know, personal stuff. Yeah. Email and shit. Yeah. I just feel like you could separate both. You um, should. Yeah. And, mm. I, and my boss was like, are you going to use like the work phone as your personal phone? Mm. And I thought about it a lot because I mean, I have an old iPhone and they like my job gave me an iPhone 12, I think. Oh my God. Yeah. And I was like, oh my flex God, on him, bro. Right. Jeez. <laughs> Not to flex, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, and I thought about it a lot. I was like, oh, maybe I could. And then after that, I was like, 
if I have my work phone, then I have access to my work emails. And that means if my personal and work phone are together and I'm going to look all the time into my, at my emails and I just said, no, no, I'm not no. going to do it. So like when I'm at the gym, it's, it's like my lunch, my lunch hour, but I keep it because I do have employees. So if there's any like emergency or whatsoever, then I do want to have my phone just in case. Mm-hmm. Um, but that phone Friday at four o'clock is done. off. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. And I don't touch it until the, the, the Monday morning. When work is done, it's done. Yeah. You know, it has it's to. very important. Like I split my days in, into sections because, you know, I, I work out every day. I, I have fucking three jobs. So and this is included. Like, it's pretty much a job. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So like, <laughs> I'm just constantly working on it and, um, it's hard to, um, to find the time to actually use the phone and like, like, you know, text people. Like if you like, if you want to contact me, just give me a call, dude. Yeah. Like, I love to talk, okay? No shit. <laughs> just call me. Like, you know, if, if I'm not answering, it's been hours, just fucking call me. Like, yeah. I'm not going to look at my phone like a, a crackhead. Yeah. That's what they're doing. These young kids are destroying their lives with these fucking phones. Yeah. I sound yes. like a 40-year-old, <laughs> but it's true, okay? Like, but I'm, I'm a hypocrite as well. I use it constantly, like, yeah. literally, but hey. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But I think people are scared to call now, nowadays. Even, like, when I receive a call, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Unknown number. Who is this? <laughs> Someone they, caught you they, dealing steroids. Yeah, they want steroids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The unknown caller. Why do people never pick up on unknown calls? Like, who are you? Fucking um, El Chapo, dude? I just, like, I, usually, okay. So usually when I get an unknown caller, it's my doctor's office calling. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's not it. good. Well, no, it's or just. Or sometimes good. It, well, now that I'm pregnant, they do. They call yeah. me a lot. Okay, so it's good. It's good. It's, it's normal. But I mean, like, I. A no number, you're like, ah, oh, you know what? It's the fucking government. Yeah, yeah. They want my money. They want my money. <laughs> Stop it. I won't give it to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm paying enough taxes. Leave me alone. But yeah. yeah, so I feel like if it's unknown or you don't know the number, people just tend to leave yeah. it, go to voice Every mail. fucking time. Yeah. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, it scares me. <laughs> I'm